morning. We come to meet the Lord today in our prayers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ. In the guidance of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen. Recognizing that we are in the holy presence of our God, we come to Him today and we pray, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, look with compassion on our weakness and ensure us your protection by strengthening forth the right hand of your majesty. God, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, If you remove from your means oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always, and give you plenty, even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The ancient ruins shall be rebuilt for your sake, and the foundations from ages past you shall raise up. Repairer of the bricks, they shall call you. Restorer of ruined homesteads. If you hold back your foot on the Sabbath from following your own pursuits on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord's holy day honorable, if you honor it by not following your ways, seeking your own interests, or speaking with malice, then you shall delight in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will nourish you with the heretics of Jacob, your father. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Incline your ear, O Lord, answer me. For I am afflicted and poor. Keep my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the song of my 
my bleeding. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom of God the Father. Glory to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ wisdom God. of God our Father. I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion that he may live. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, wisdom of God the Father. The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. Jesus saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And leaving everything behind, he got up and followed him. Then Levi gave a great banquet for him in his house. And a large crowd of tax collectors and others were at table with him. The Pharisees and their scribes complained to his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus said to them in reply, Those who are healthy do not need a physician, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. What does the Holy Mother of the Church invite us to begin in our Lenten journey? See one of the most arranged readings that we have is the Lenten readings of our Masses. And they're not just read because it has to be read that way. They have some sequence to follow. Now go to the reading of today. It's the calling of Levi, the tax collector. Lent and the calling of Levi is a very close and important event in our Lenten journey. It talks about the personal connection between one who journeys in Lent and the way one repents and follows Jesus. See, there were when once Levi's calling came forth in the readings. Not only was Levi there following Jesus, the other tax collectors came to follow Jesus too. What a beautiful example, what a beautiful sense of the beginning of Lent. You relate with God and begin the journey in a way where you say, Lord, I am a sinner. Contrary to what the Pharisees and the scribes of the reading says, hey, why pay attention to those who make mistakes? Why pay attention to the sinners? Why pay attention to those who don't belong even to a church? Why pay attention to those who are not having that right conduct? Why pay attention? Jesus says, that's not what I came here for. Then it becomes for us a humble experience of our starting with God. Not interested much with that person is wrong, that person is not doing right, that person is. 
We begin with what Jesus comes to do for us. What comes to us? That's the most important thing. That's what Jesus was interested with. Our own personal connection with him. He said, the sin. Before God, there is no such person as perfect. We are all sinners before God. It's the reason why the Mass is so beautiful because we begin by recognizing our sins. We begin by saying to God, Lord, you call me here in the most beautiful time, breaking of the bread, sitting with you and recognizing how blessed we are. And yet, you begin by forgiving my sins. Every Mass we do that. The Gospel today says, Jesus comes, touches the life of Levi and says, Levi, begin to all over again. Is that what we want to do with Lent? Is that what we want to see happening with us with Lent? That happens to us. The Gospel says, then a lot of people will come follow you. Not because you're a sinner and so follow the wrong examples that you do, but because they will see how beautiful it is to be related with Jesus. You will see in your words and in your actions the presence of Jesus in your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Merciful and loving God, you have come to call us in our own sinfulness. Heal us today and bring us to your salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. That our community become a place of welcoming, that we learn to be of one heart and one soul before God. We pray to the Lord. That we pray for places of war and destruction, that there might be forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. That today, in the things that we do, we share God's forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. In today's Mass, we especially pray for Otilia Lopez, Antonio Lopez, Catalina Maldonado, Josefina Austria. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we bring you our prayers, our intentions. May you continue to be our guide in our life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Except we pray all the way. 
the sacrifice of consolation and grace, grant that cleansed by its working, we may offer minds well pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, only Father Almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you, we count the angels, and with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son and the eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all goodness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, presenting down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabu was under into the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and they drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come back. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our hope and place our vision and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have preached throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. For the Savior is commanded for our by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not be the patient, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace be grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, the Holy One, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not unworthy that you should enter their mind. And I'll say the word of my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Nourish with the gift of heavenly life, we pray for you, that what remains for us a mystery in this present life may be for us a help to reach eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.